Well, hello everyone. On this gloomy day, we're uh, Friday afternoon. I'm doing estimates for customers today, this afternoon. We work this morning, this afternoon, and do estimates for customers. So you guys will see this on Saturday. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me here today as I'm doing the, going to see each customer, it's going to be mostly for tree service. I think we are going to do five of them this afternoon, five estimates. I'll show you guys what we're doing. I'm not going to give you guys any prices or anything because, you know, some of the people that watch our videos might be people that work the same town as us, so we don't want to take any chances. And uh, next week, beautiful weather it's going to be 50 to 60 degrees all week they're saying it's going to be around 15 celsius all week so you can see the snow in this week last couple of days the snow has really gone away by next week there shouldn't be any more temperature right now four degrees three degrees celsius makes about 35 fahrenheit so we're heading over to our first one all right, gonna be walking up on my first customer here. I'll go show you guys. I'll back to what she wants. Done. Just a little job, nothing very big to do. Still has to be done. See this tree right here? She just wants us to cut it under the wires because she's afraid it's getting up into the wires. So we'll cut that, fix that up. So that's just a little job right there. So that's it. You give a quick quote on a job like that, nothing much, a couple hundred dollar job, then you go off to the next one. All right, let's go up to the next one. All right, let's start heading out to the next job. Oh, you see here on the left here, I guess they're still building apartment buildings where we are. I thought maybe that with the high interest rates and everything going on that they would start slowing down on that, but I guess they haven't. Things have just gotten so expensive for interest rates and materials and we don't know what's going to happen with the economy. Are we going to have a recession? Are we not going to have a recession? But I guess they're still building. Must mean that the things are still good here where we are in the province of Quebec. So we're just in between estimates here, but heading to the next one. So we're in a new this is all new, all this here. They built all these gas stations with all these restaurants. Got a roundabout here. This has all been built the last couple of years. We got a pretty good town where we are here. I think there's about 25,000 people that have moved here in the last couple of years too. It's been really good. Like nice gas stations, nice new restaurants, a lot of fast food stuff, but the way it is here then we're going to be here we're in the industrial park one of the industrial parks with the big shops and everything so you guys can see the snow is almost all gone you can see off into the distance you can look to the right to the left there so this right here is going to be all industrial park this is their last one that they have going now so all right so i'm going to head over to the next one the next one's over by the mall this town's not that big, so I head over towards the mall. I just did one. I didn't film it. It was just a quick little estimate, and uh, I told the client we couldn't do it. He had to get a permit from the town. He wanted to have a tree taken down in front of his house. And I said, uh, when it's in front of the house, you got to have a permit for that. And he didn't seem like he wanted to do that, so I said, well, we can't take care of that. We're not going to get in trouble doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing, especially with the town. We do a lot of work here. We do work for the town also. So you don't want to get them on your bad side. And we do everything the way it's supposed to be done. All right, so let's head over to the next one. When I get there, I'll show you guys what we got going on. All right, I just thought I'd show you guys on my way to the next estimate. We're going by the mall here. You see all the snow up here in front of me? That's at the mall because they use loaders to clean the driveways here. And they pile it all up. Now I see they moved it around to try to get it to melt. A lot of it there. I just thought I'd show you guys. This is how they get rid of the snow here. Because if they leave it in 
too big of piles. It's gonna take too long for it to all melt. So by spreading it out like they just did there, it's gonna melt a lot quicker. I just thought I'd show you guys that on the way by here. You guys heard that, that's estimates that are coming in automatically. Just to let me know another one came in. We'll take a look on the phone to see where it is, see if it's in where we are now. If it is, we'll do it. If not, we'll do it if we have time this afternoon. If not, it'll be tomorrow. All right, we're just gonna be pulling up here to the next one. All right, here we are. We've got this birch tree here we're gonna take down. She's in rough shape. She's a little rough. So we're gonna take that down, completely down. And he asked us, he says, could you take the stump down too? I said, no problem. And there's a second stump right here. So we'll fix that up for him. And he asked me, he goes, can you pick up this little wood here? We said, we have no problem fixing that up for you, sir. So we'll pick that all up and we'll fix it all up for them. All right, let's head out to the next one. All right, just getting out of the car here. Oh, see, I almost got caught by that branch. So this place here, they want to take out this bush here, this bush here, trim these hedges, clear the top of the chimney there. So you got a branch that fell here. We'll pick that up at the same time. Another bush here. So I put some paint on it. These are new people that just bought and there's another bush over there and there's another one on the other side of the house. And we'll trim the hedges over on the other side there. Nice little job. Said they'd get back to us on that for the pricing, for everything. Some of the stuff they don't need to get done right now. They just moved here too and a lot of expenses when you move. Oh yeah, I cleared a wire. They have a See their electrical wire that comes into the house is right here. So you see how that wire comes in right there. And you see how it's stuck up in the tree there. I don't know if you can tell. See how it's pushing right against it. And right under the smaller wires, that's for the cable and stuff like that. So you gotta clean that out because you're gonna to have too much tension on there and it's gonna make it too hard. It can end up breaking, pulling the wire right off the house. All right, let's head out to the next one. All right, just heading over to the next place. We're in the north part of town here. We're going to O'Reilly Street. Can't believe, looks like there's some snowflakes coming down. Is it ever gonna end? A lot of estimates coming in though, that's a good thing. Get things going, we're running about 10 days behind. Yeah, we're around 10 days behind, so it's gonna be good to get things rolling here. The, it took time for the snow to melt, and while there's still snow on the ground, people don't really call. Once the snow is gone, they start looking at their land, raking their lawns, cleaning them up. That's when the phone starts to ring. The phone is gonna get red here pretty soon. All right, so like I said, let's head over to O'Reilly Street and we'll see what we can do over there for them. Give them a quote. Now right, we got ourselves a tree here that came down. So we'll take a look at this. We'll give them a quote on this. Look at this big one here. She's split. Caught the corner of the house up there. Look how rotten it was. That is soaking wet. Soaking wet. Look at this piece of wood. This piece of wood right here. It's soaking wet. That's a big one. Look at all the holes for the, the woodpeckers everywhere. Look at all the squirrels. Look at all that. Caught the corner of the house up there. All right, we'll give him a price. Take that away. Take that down. 
Lucky it didn't do more damage than it did. All right, I'll bring you guys along. We'll go over to the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Just bringing you guys along with us here as I'm heading up to my next estimate or my next quote. We're coming, we're down here on Wellington Street in Sherbrooke. For some of you maybe that are looking at these videos will remember this. All these old buildings here. Got some stores, some restaurants. A lot of traffic. Beautiful place. This is an older part of the downtown core here. Just thought we'd bring you guys along and show you guys this. How beautiful it is. Big bus trying to get in over there. Look at him trying to sneak in. So you guys would enjoy this. All right, so when we get to the next one, I'll show you guys. Like I said today, I'm just bringing you guys along with me as I'm doing quotes this afternoon. Be doing some all afternoon. I got a couple more. Then that'll be. All right, we're at the next one. This is one we used to do back in the day. But the, the other owners, see, here's our sticker. The owners were here just before them have been here for they were here for three years or four years and they never had it done and we used to do it for the owner before that. So we're going to be doing this one again this year. Hasn't been done in a while so you see how big that is. So we use the boom vans. Get the boom vans all set up. As you can see there's a lot of snow on the ground. So we won't be doing anything there with the snow. See there's a stump right there. I'll ask him if everybody want to take it out. I mean, look how long this is. Look at how long that is. So we'll come in here and clean it all up. We do both neighbors here. We do the neighbor out back here, and we do the neighbor over here. So we'll fix that all up. See, they have a pool here, so everything is still frozen. We'll cut some of the branches here at the bottom, just over the pool, make it look good, and we'll cut over there. We got this big cedar hedge right here. We got a nice little job, so we'll fix that up for them, make it look good. We'll do it at the end of April, beginning of May. That's what the customer wants, that's what we'll do. See, they have wood here. They must heat what wood. Some people, where we are, they heat what wood. Instead of just using electricity, the wood is gonna be a, a nicer heat and cheaper. That's the big thing, it's cheaper. All right, let's head out to the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying these. All right, I'll show you guys this one here. This is gonna be the last one for this video. Look at this big one here, look how high that is. I must be 25 feet high. That's a big one. You can see the difference where it's never been really cut that much up on top. You can see the bottom part here has been cut. This is somebody new that just bought this apartment building. So you can see they always keep it cut here at the bottom because their driveway, their parking is out back. So they always keep this nice and cut so it looks good. Look, it's still ice in the driveway. Look at this ice. So you can see these hedges here won't grow on the other side because the neighbor's building is right up against it. We're right by university here in town. So it's gonna probably be student that live here. See, there's a part out back. You see how you can see through that? That's never even been trimmed. So we'll just trim that up, make it look better. 
I asked the client, I go, do you want us to cut up at the top? Fix that up. She said, no. No cutting at the top. She goes, we just want the sides to be all done, make it look good. So we'll use the boom van so we can go way up on top here. So that's going to be it. So this was the quote for this customer. So a quick job like this, it's going to be $300. That's what the quote is. So we'll send it to her by email. Hope you guys enjoyed this today. Like I said, you guys will see this Saturday. And I can't wait till next week till we start getting the beautiful weather. All right, you guys, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.